Hello guys, I would like to introduce you the new Minkota Terova Quest. So it's a brand new model, it's absolutely reinforced, it's not even comparable with the older models. It became more beefier because it, it has lots more power inside of it. So first of all, brushless engine, finally, yes Minkota made it. It's 24, 36 volts in one. So you decide whatever battery you connect, the Minn Kota automatically adapts it and chooses the best torque to make the total control of your boat. The next step, uh, steering, steering engine itself. Yes, it's now not positioned in some kind of wiki, you know, small thing. Uh, it has uh, aluminum frame. It's uh, absolutely safe from the water splashes. So whatever the weather, <laughs> don't don't uh, be afraid, you know, to drive your Tarova through it. It will be safe in all the conditions. The subframe, it became two times thicker. So uh, previous models has got uh, seven and a half millimeter thickness. Now it's almost 14 uh, millimeters of thickness of aluminum. Uh, brand new control boards. Lower unit, middle section, steering column, and the upper unit, they have new control boards. It allows you to take control uh, of everything, and each of them are separately updatable. Previously, you could update it, but it was uh, like needed to use the remote control. Now, no more. Uh, Minkota introduced a brand new one boat network app. Uh, this engine can uh, can be paired with the app in a few seconds and you have the full control whatever it takes to you uh, calibration software updates errors everything is shown on the screen so you will have total you know control of it next step uh, next upgrade actually a very good one uh, the ethernet uh, connection socket is now located in the upper uh, level so no more hanging cables or whatever if you don't use any truck water at all if you are uh, using it yes the cable extension cable is included so you just put it through up here connect it and that's all it connects automatically a uh, new propeller is included it's a power prop so it's it's made of uh, a bit uh, thicker you know uh, material right now because it sounds like ceramic right now and it's sharp be careful <laughs> not not to cut your hands off all the needed accessories are now inside the box so whatever you have a solix apex helix all the sonar cable adapters uh, ethernet cable adapters are all included all bigger bolts uh, you know rubber spacings uh, uh, cable ties uh, to make your cables look slick you know up here everything is included into the box uh, the foot pedal is also upgraded it looks like the older one but it has a one board network button so you can program whatever function you want on this button and you will be able to get it online on one press of a button of course new adapters uh, new new control models uh, use the uh, next generation of the software and it is able and it, it, it's working with the new Minkota remote control. We can say goodbye for the recharging cables because it's now profited with a built in, uh, with a uh, exchangeable two uh, regular batteries. So, lifetime is about four or five months. So, come on, guys, <laughs> you will have plenty of time to get them drained. And you can buy it in a petrol station, whatever. It, it, these are regular batteries. Uh, What's more important thing, uh, the shaft itself, the, now it can be uh, as long as 100 feet, so about 2 meter 53 centimeters length. So whatever your boat <laughs> size is, uh, Tarova Quest can handle it, no problem at all. Uh, new thing, if you choose, for example, a Riptide Tarova Quest, yes, it will be all in white, but the shaft will stay in black because uh, uh, Minkota infuses a lot of carbon inside of it. That's why it's not only black, but it's tough like hell, you know, it's uncomparable with the previous models because it's, it's tougher than steel now. <laughs> What's uh, more uh, features? No more heading sensor. So no more separate, you know, uh, compass, 
to make your head go crazy where to put it or whatever now it's included in the upper unit so no more calibration and swimming those two circles you just set the keel and that's it uh, you just uh, provide the info that it is straight and the minkota is ready to go on fishing so it's way more easier from the first startup to get on the water as soon as possible new upgrade is the depth color uh, previous ones were like spinnable ones these are just clappable so it became more beefier so you can let it uh, the engine into the water and don't care because this part compensates all the weight of it uh, the folding mechanism, the assy, uh, was was done like in the middle of the stop frame, because it provides the toughest, you know, position when mounted on the on the boat's uh, front, because the assy was one of the weakest part when bending uh, tough, uh, heavy engines on it. Uh, tough engines require. Uh, quite tough you know accessory to get them uh, securely fitted on the boats so Minkonta introduced uh, quick release brackets so uh, riptide models uh, like white and uh, for regular uh, freshwater models in black so uh, uh, many profiting methods you know to get the best uh, you know and, and, and tough connection with your boat so it will be way more easier to to install them another quite good feature i think is the reinforcement plate it's an aluminium plate who is mainly thought to be first mounted on the bows uh, on the bow and after that you can directly screw a fast removable plate or the engine directly to, to it so it's 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 a very nice thing i think for the installers because they don't need to get those heavy things you know on their hands and to make alignments this plate is a day saver so this new quest you know uh, Tarova will have all possibles all new futures uh, what uh, Minkota have thought for the next year one of the most important and the fresh one is the drift mode so say goodbye for that you know drifting along the wind now you make the decision on what direction do you want to drift. You just set the required speed of the drift and Minkota takes care of it. So no matter where the wind is blowing, you will do your fishing, <laughs> whatever the nature brings you. It is visible uh, on, on the Hummingbird screen, of course on the, on the remote control and on your One Boat Network app. So we will introduce the drift mode, I think, in the next videos. But the short summary, I think you got it. See you soon, guys.